what is volumetric and rate of flow? Right there measuring units in metric. Volumetric flow, the total amount of fluid passed through a process line. Generally, it is measured on counters. The measuring unit is cubic meter, barrels, etc. Rate of flow, the amount of fluid moving through a process line per period of time. Generally, it is measured on indicators, recorders. The measuring unit is cubic meter per day, barrels per day, etc. What are the types of flow, measuring instruments used in industries? Orifice plate and a DP transmitter, Daniel orifice and DP transmitter, rotameter, doll tube, venturi tube, PD meters, etc. What are the types of flow measurements commonly used in industries? Orifice plate and a DP transmitter, Daniel orifice and a DP transmitter, rotameter, PD meters. What is Bernoulli's theorem? What does it explain? It explains that when there is a restriction in a fluid flow line a DP, differential pressure, is created. The DP is maximum at the vena contract point. The flow measured in the flow line is proportional to the square root of the DP measured where K is a constant. What is the function of an orifice plate in flow measurement? An orifice plate creates a differential pressure in a flow line. The DP created is used for measuring the flow through the process line. How much maximum and minimum orifice D? orifice diameter, ID permitted in a pipeline? The orifice diameter should be in between 0.25 and 0.75 of the pipeline diameter. What is the difference between an orifice plate used in liquid and gas flow measurement? The orifice plate used in a gas service will be having a small drain hole at the bottom of the orifice plate to drain the entrapped condensation. Whereas drain hole will be at the top for liquid service to vent entrapped gases. How to identify a newly installed orifice plate upstream in a pipeline? The upstream can be identified by the orifice plate's tag number markings. Tag numbers are always marked on the upstream of the orifice plate. How much upstream and downstream straight length run is essential for an orifice plate flow measurement? An upstream of 28D and a downstream of minimum 7D is essential for an accurate orifice plate flow measuring system where D is equal to pipe line diameter. Greater the upstream and downstream length, lesser the flow turbulence and greater the accuracy in the flow measurement. Why and when is flow measured on a square root scale? Flow is measured on a square root scale only when the measurement is done through an orifice plate and a DP transmitter. The flow measured through the orifice plate is always proportional to the square root of the DP across the orifice plate. What is a flow factor? A flow factor is to multiply the flow transmitter signal measured on a 0 to 10 square root or 0 to 100 linear scale to get the flow calculated by flow metering. This is used due to the standardization of the transmitter's signals to 20 to 100 kPa or 4 to 20 mA. Explain the installation of a DP flow transmitter on a gas and liquid pipeline. Gas line, the transmitter is installed above the orifice plate to prevent the condensation of gas in the signal line and in the HP and AP chambers. Liquid line, the transmitter is installed below the orifice plate to prevent the gas trapping in the signal line and in the HP and AP chambers. What is a zero check and static zero check on a DP flow transmitter? Zero check. A procedure for checking the transmitter output is equal to 4.00 mA when its HP and AP chambers are equalized and are at the atmospheric pressure. Static zero check, a procedure for checking the transmitter output is equal 
to 4.00 mA when its HP and AP chambers are equalized and are at the operating pressure. Why is flow measurement not very accurate? Flow measurement is less accurate compared to level, temperature and pressure measurement. This is due to the consideration of various parameters while measuring a flow. These parameters, such as the accuracy of the orifice plate diameter, the pipeline diameter, their operating parameters such as temperature and pressure do not remain same in the process operation as the designed parameters. Generally, an accuracy of 5% is permitted in a flow measurement. Why generally is a flow transmitter installed upstream of a flow control valve? A flow transmitter is always installed on the upstream of the flow control valve in order to maintain the operating pressure across the flow transmitter sensors. Downstream of the control valve the pressure changes as the control valve opens or closes. Why is a pressure transmitter installed upstream of a flow transmitter? Upstream of a flow control valve a pressure transmitter is installed to measure the operating pressure. At times it is used for computing the true flow against the designed pressure. Downstream of the control valve the pressure changes as the control valve opens and closes. What is the operating principle of a turbine meter? A magnetic pickup installed above a turbine meter measures the number of magnetic flux cut by the turbine meter blades and produces pulses proportional to the volume of liquid flow through the meter. What is the output of a turbine meter? The output of the turbine meter is in pulses. The pulse per the volume of liquid is constant and distinct for each meter. When a known quantity of liquid flows through the meter, a known number of pulses are produced. What are the advantages and disadvantages of a turbine meter versus an orifice plate flow measurement? Turbine meter is a good flow measuring unit when the fluid is low clean fluid. The turbine meter measures the volumetric flow. It is directly installed on the flow line. Its accuracy in flow measurement is high. Accuracy can be recalculated and the K-factor can be reset periodically. What is a K-factor on a turbine meter? Who provides the K-factor? Each turbine meter is specified with a K-factor which represents the number of pulses produced per a known quantity of liquid. Example K is equal to 265 pulsed gallon. Generally, the K factor is provided by the manufacturer. 1 cubic meter is equal to how many gallons? 1 cubic meter is equal to 264.2 gallons. Why are counters, totalizer, used in flow measurement? Counters are used for measuring the volumetric flow of the fluid in a pipeline. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, share, comment. IIQA